Okay, circle theorems. Um, because circle theorems is quite a big topic, and I'll split up into two lessons. Uh, first one, we're still the first three ones, and we'll do the second lot in the second lesson. Right, as you start a task, it's quite nice, quite simple. We've got a circle, got all these uh, words at the side. Can you please then come up? Uh, pause the video if you need to. So the answers are right here. The only thing you really need to notice is that your chord goes from one side of the circle to the other. By that logic, the diameter is also a chord, but it's a special type of chord. Um, your sector, I always like to think about it as a bike if he's going to chop up an orange, it's part of an orange. And just to get your uh, language right, a couple more points we need to make sure is that if I've got a chord and my two things to split them up in two segments, the bigger one's called your major segment, the other one's called your minor segment. Uh, the same thing applies for minor sector and major sector. Just helps with our uh, when we verbalise and talking about our circle theorems. But the first one we need to think about is that this circle here. Now, if I if miss this vertex here is my centre, this is a special type of triangle. And now the type of triangle is I know this is actually an isosceles triangle. And the reason is because I know this is a radius. I know that is a radius. And I don't care what circles you draw, they must be the same length. If they're the same length, it's an isosceles, which also means that that angle and that angle must both be identical. And we can use this to work out simple ones. Now make sure it does state that that centre bit is the, uh, is the centre. Sometimes it's marked with an O as the centre. So again, I know this is an... So if I want to work out the other angles, I know this is isosceles. So I know it's 180 degrees in a triangle. I take away 70, which is 110. Those two angles must be the same because it's isosceles, so these must both be 55 each. Okay. Now this is not a circle theorem, it just comes up a lot. So you need to know it. Right. Talking to the first circle theorem, I've got this one here. Now again, you have to make sure that that's your centre. So we've got an angle here at the centre, and we've got an angle here at the circumference. Okay. Now what you have to know is the one in the circumference is half that at the centre. Now people tend to remember that there's something to do with halves or doubles, but they tend not to know which way around it goes. Now if you look at this, look at it, see which one looks like it's half the size of the other one. Because the thing is with circle theorem is you can't deny some of the facts. So if you draw this shape, it must be true. Uh, yeah, good. So let's say that one has 30, that's on the circumference. The other one looks bigger, so it's got to be twice the size of that one, it's got to be 60. Okay. Um, now this one here is the same theorem. But if you think of it as this goes through, so I do have an angle here, and this is 180 degrees. Okay, And this red line is actually down now. Now it means the one on the circumference up here, I know it doesn't touch, but it's meant to touch, is 90. So again, what this means is that if you've got a diameter, and, the other vert and all the vertices are on the circle, then it must be a right angle triangle. It's impossible to draw one of these without it being a right angle. Okay, uh, another one. Okay, now this, it looks different, it's the same as the first one. So I've got an angle here at the centre, and I've got an angle here on your circumference. And the same rules apply, the one the circumference is half that of the centre. So if my centre is 230, my circumference must be 115. Okay, just people don't see it, that's all. That's the first one before. Now this one here, again, this can be interpreted as the same. Because I've got here, I've got an angle on the, circum on the centre, and I've got an angle here on the circumference. So it's the same rules apply. So if this is 80, that must also be 40. Now you can actually do this one in a slightly different way. Because if I work this one here out, I know that's on a straight line. So I know this must be 100. Okay. I know this is an isosceles triangle. So again, I'll do 180, take away 100, which is 80, and divide them by 2, so these must be 40. So you can work them out a different way if you need to. Um, I'd copy these down if you're taking notes. It's very handy to know. And here's some questions. Okay, so the only circle theorems you'll need to know is the angle on the circumference is half that of the centre. Yeah, um, if you see a diameter, it's going to be a right angle triangle. And uh, you need to think about isosceles triangles. Right, I'll give you a bit of time to work these out. Pause the video if you need to. Uh, here's your answers. Take across your work. Okay. Uh, the second one, side, side, side. Right, if you see this thing that looks like a bow tie, these are actually different segments. That angle there is exactly the same as this one here. Okay? Um, so, bilateral logic, if you turn it upside down, this one here must also be the same as that one there. 
And actually, my two ones where this cross are the same. Uh, these are the same because they're opposite angles, if you remember your other angle facts. Uh, these are circumference in the same segment are equal. Right, for example, these ones here, they're both 32. Now, looking at this one here, we can actually work out all of these angles. Now, if you look to the right for y, I know that's a triangle. So I'll do 180, take away 81, take away 63, which means this one here must be 36 degrees. Now, these two are actually similar triangles. I know it doesn't say me, but I'm going to do this just for the hell of it. That must be 81, because these are opposite triangles, opposite angles. That x and this 63 are the same. Uh, that z and that y, they're the same as well. So that's got to be 36. Okay. Um, just quickly go through these, just because they look a bit weird. That one there. Um, e and f are the same, because you've got a bow tie thing. If you actually look at it, it's like here. Yep, so E, 32, and F are all 32. Now, G is going to be twice out of 32. And you can think of it that G is going to be twice out of 32. And I've got the same symbol here for G and F, so that's going to be half and doubles. Right, here's some questions for you to do. Give you some time to work out. Pause the video if you have to. Some of these nice questions, special ones at the bottom. Here's your answers. Tick crush work. At the end, hope you enjoyed that.